Yeah, let's start the show. Y'all take it easy. Don't jump to conclusions. It is not over till that fat ass liberal lady sings. <laughs> Until you see her fat ass up there with her <laughs> purple hair singing, <laughs> this shit is not over. Ain't no way in hell hey. Joe Biden won Wisconsin or Michigan. I don't even think he won Arizona. Hey, uh, I went to sleep last night. I, yeah, felt, I, was, I, I felt, felt good, man. I felt good, man. I felt positive. Even man. though I, was, uh, I switched back to Fox News, they hadn't even called Alaska yet. I was like, that's kind of weird. They but anyway. hadn't called Texas or Florida. <laughs> but as soon as... uh. Man, it was calling states early like Arizona, California, which rightfully so. California's a liberal shithole and always will be. Yeah. New York, but they well, hadn't called Texas or Florida. Oh, yeah. it's still too close. It's only up by a couple million votes. Yeah, so I went to sleep feeling good. I woke up this morning. Oh, we just found 138,000 votes for Biden in Michigan. <laughs> I'm like, what kind of Easter egg hunt shit y'all doing? <laughs> I think, okay, no big deal. He's got a big lead. How many did you find for Trump? Zero. <laughs> I said, oh, hell no. You liberals crazy as hell. If anybody in that right mind is going to believe that. Look, this is the problem I have. I don't have no problem with mail-in votes. Yeah. I don't. But this is the deal. Like, like in Philadelphia. Not only in Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan. They said, hold on, let's not count these mail-in votes. <laughs> Even though they've been sitting there for days and weeks, we ain't going to count those until we count all the other votes. And they're the slowest counters of votes. Even with the people that was walking in voting, they was like the slowest ones. It's like, why y'all only got 10% of your votes counted? Right, so let's count all these votes first. Yeah. Then we're going to count the mail-in uh, the ballots. Even though they've been sitting there for days, weeks. Yeah. I mean, that's fishy to me. That gives me the impression like, okay, we'll count these. Okay, we count all those. How much we need? All right, let's find these damn ballots. <laughs> That's the impression I'm under. Yeah. Some states didn't do that. Right. Like Texas, they didn't do that. Florida didn't do that. They counted them. Yeah. Okay, the, let's go and start counting them because there's a bunch of them to count, so let's start counting them. But no, Michigan, yeah. Philadelphia, yeah. no, we going to wait. Yeah, it's in all the swing states and all the liberal counties are being very slow with their counting. And the only reason why they're doing it is they're trying to wait to see how many they really need. And then you hear about the things that's going on in Arizona. Yeah. I already saw the video. They was giving people, the people that's working at the polls, man, handing out Sharpies to people, knowing that that was going to invalidate that vote. Yeah, it's what, the computer can't read it or they, something? They, they can't read it. You have to use a ballpoint pen. It's something with the Sharpie. And I'm, I'm hearing those same stories in Michigan. And they did it in the red counties where they know Trump's going to get a lot of votes. There's yeah. still a lot of votes that need to be counted in Michigan and Arizona. Yeah. They've called that those states prematurely. Trump's got Michigan and he's got Arizona. Look, this is what we, this is what Trump needs. Don't right? listen to what this mainstream media is telling you. They're trying to paint this narrative that Biden has won his won this election. He has not won anything. Yeah. So this is what Trump needs. Okay, Georgia, that's got to go Trump. Yeah, North Carolina's got to go Trump. Which is leaning hard Trump. He should yeah. have those states. He's winning it right now. Um, Pennsylvania has to go Trump. But yeah, he's leading good in that state. Even if they get in all the liberal votes, he yeah. should still be up. Right. And he needs one of these four states. Yeah. Arizona. Mm -hmm. He needs uh, Michigan. Mm -hmm. Well, one of these four. Arizona, Michigan, or Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. And it's another that slips my mind at the Wisconsin. moment. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. yeah. They're going to do a recount in Wisconsin. Well, hell, that's actually It's in five. between 1%. Yeah, it's actually five. Nevada, mm -hmm. Arizona, mm -hmm. Wisconsin, Michigan. Oh, it's just four. Did you say Arizona? Yeah, I said Arizona. <laughs> Man, I had Trump's team strongly feel they got Arizona. Yeah. Because there's a lot of votes. They prematurely called that state. I hope y'all right. I hope they prematurely jacket whatever you call it, the vote in uh, Arizona. Yeah, but yeah, don't keep your hopes up. I, I see a lot of people worrying. You gotta remember, look at when you're looking at the TV. You, they're on Biden's side. They're there to influence how you think. Don't take what they say is a fact. It's all speculation. Yeah. We're not going to know who won this election for some time. And it, the reason for that is because in these swing states, these liberal counties <laughs> are de deliberately counting their votes slow. Yeah. They're deliberately trying to... Where's well, the mail-in votes? Yeah. They waited to count those. You know, we went to the gym today, and the parking lot was like half empty. I'm like, 
you have people at home watching the election, getting the updates. They don't want to work out. They're like, man, this is. <laughs> I mean, I felt really good last night when I went to sleep. Woke yeah. up, felt like I caught COVID or something. Yeah. Look what they did with this virus, though. Yeah, they, they weaponized and politicized this virus. Trying to blame it on one man. Tried to blame it on one man. Then they also took this virus and got the mail-in votes. So people that are, yeah, the mail-in votes. To push that. Now think about this, everybody. If Biden was our president at the time of this pandemic, he wouldn't have did anything different. Just look how he handled H N one N one, the yeah. the, the swine flu. He I didn't mean, do anything different. I mean, but what can the did. president of the United States do? It's a damn virus. It's not a U.S. problem. It's a mm-hmm. global problem. How would anybody do anything different? The only yeah. thing you could prevent the spread is you, because you go in those labs, right, when the people working with viruses, mm. they look like they're about ready to go to the damn moon. They got an oxygen tank. Yeah. If you would have gave everybody that, yeah, yeah, okay, I understand. If, that's, if, if that was y'all's plan, mm. but how expensive would that be? There's nothing anybody could have did differently. Yeah, I still can't believe how close this election is. I'm thinking it's got to be a lot of fraud because anybody with common sense should know well, that you can't, it's a virus. And then I'm looking at, I'm going through my feed on Facebook and Instagram and just the stupid things people say, you should have told us to wear a mask. You didn't take any consideration that he blocked um, travel from China. Look, you didn't take any consideration when he, you know, limited movements from uh, U- European countries to here. Yeah. Hey, my sister-in-law. Yeah. Right. She's a uh, liberal. And I was having this conversation with her and she, she was real upset. I was like, well, what could have Trump did different? Why do you keep blaming Trump for the virus? He didn't make it. You know what she told me? He should have told everybody to wear a mask, and he don't wear a mask. He's a leader. He needs to wear a mask. (laughs) I was just sitting there looking at him. (laughs) And I was like, so I'm like, when when you talk to a liberal for some reason, when you talk to a liberal, they just leave you speechless. You can't say anything. <laughs> they be throwing them big ass curveballs. <laughs> like I did not see that coming. I'm like, okay, so she's like, even he caught the virus. That's because he's irresponsible. He should have showed leadership and wore a mask. I'm like, so it's, it's the a- victim's fault that got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> it's his like, fault he got COVID. That's like blaming a woman who's dressed provocatively. Yeah. Why she got raped to me. Yeah. How can you stop from getting a virus? Yeah, and just in a look, global pandemic, look, we're doing social distancing. We got the mask, and we still having outbreaks. Yeah, people still catching it, still spiking. People yeah. wearing masks, people doing social distancing, yeah. washing your hands. It's people just, still getting it. It's just something that's going to have to work through our society, and everybody's going to have to build an immune immunity to it. It's just well, something we're going to have to live with until they they uh, create a vaccine. Man, there's vaccines for all kinds of stuff. People still dying from. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's just, I was going through my feet, like I was saying, man, people saying, yeah, I voted for Biden because uh, Trump is a racist. I was like, man, it's just, I can't believe people do not, cannot think for themselves. There's no, it's absolutely no proof that this man is a racist. Well, I'm sure, I'm, sure, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying there's no proof that he hates anybody. I'm pretty sure Trump hates everybody equally. <laughs> Look, if people, you do something stupid, he's going to call you out regardless if you're white, black, yeah. brown. It doesn't matter. If he thinks you do something stupid, he's going to call you out. And P- and he he makes it easy for mainstream media to call him a racist, man, because he's not a politician. Well, look, they take advantage of things like a that. A racist, the meaning of racist to uh, everybody's different. Like, to me, a race, a definition of a racist is like somebody in the Klan, somebody who's an uh, employer and doesn't hire uh uh, minorities mm-hmm. don't provide opportunity to minorities. Don't serve uh, minorities in a restaurant. Look, there's you know, we don't serve you. Or what, they hired um, a minority just to do a specific job, like janitorial. Or, yeah, that's that's a, that's a racist person to me. Or yeah. who won't promote somebody um, that's a minority, mm-hmm. even though they're the best uh, candidate for position. Yeah. You know, they just give it to the white person. That's a yeah. racist to me. Yeah. When I but, see Trump or anybody in, yeah. in, in politics, I don't have any proof that anybody's a racist. Yeah, but the thing is, when you, uh, like, them just asking President Trump uh, to not denounce race, um, white supremacy, it de- that 
brings out a perception that there, where there's smoke, there's fire. So people have that perception that he's racist just because they asked him that question. And the media knows that. Yeah, and that perception, perception is not reality. Yeah. But there's a perception of racism there. Yeah, and there's a perception that Trump has lost his election. All those, yeah. all these people that's covering this election, mainstream media, all that are lies. Yeah. Trump but, has already won this election. Yeah, but like I was saying about the, uh, the definition of racism, like to, like my sister-in-law. Yeah. Because he calls like Baltimore a uh, liberal shithole or rat infested, mm. she she thinks that's racist because a lot of black people live there. No, nah, that's even if it was white people there, it's still a liberal rat infested shithole. Yeah, that's assuming that all number of black people live there. White people live in Baltimore. Brown yeah. people live in Baltimore. Asian people live in Baltimore. So when these politicians like AOC and all these other people use yeah. this provocative language, call people uh, racist and racism, all yeah. that, they develop. They don't have no proof that he's racist, racist, but they put in the perception out there that he yeah. is. And, but they and that's enough for a lot of people. That's my point. Yeah, and a lot of people just assume what they hear on TV is yeah. facts, and they, it's not. They literally cannot think for themselves. They go by what they hear on the uh, mainstream media. Oh, my God, that's horrible. But you know what? I'm going to vote for Worst case scenario, let's say Trump does lose, which I don't think he is, but let's say he lose. We're going to be just fine. We still got the Senate. We gain a seat. In House of Representatives, we got the Supreme Court. I mean, we have three branches of government to distribute the balance of power in this country. So at worst case scenario, if Biden and Kamala does become a vice president, president, I mean, ain't nothing going to change with me. I'm still going to continue to work hard, push my matches, you know, do what I have to do. Yeah, it's still going to make it tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to make it a little bit tougher, especially for businesses. But the joke is on the liberal voter. You actually think your life is going to improve because – you think they're going to start taxing the wealthy and they're going to be getting their fair share. They're going to have to start paying their fair share in taxes. It's weird. The joke is on you. That was just a ruse to get more taxes out of everybody, including the wealthy and including you. Yeah, how is Joe Biden and Kamala Harris going to make your life better? Just how? Shit rolls downhill, <laughs> liberal. <laughs> how? I mean, what was that message to make you think your life's going to improve? Only person that can improve your life is you. Democrats, they're going to make your life tougher because all they're going to do is tax the wealthy. They're going to tax business owners. Guess what? That shit's going to fall on you because yeah. guess what? They're going to hire less people, right, to cover their expenses, to cover their taxes. Yeah. It's just going to make it harder for you. One other thing I want to say. That money that they're gaining taxes, it's not going to you. Yeah. It ain't. It's going to. Your that, life's not going to get better neither, especially when they can't get those taxes from the rich people. <laughs> <laughs> they're covered for your ass. So rich people are smart. They are rich for a reason. Yeah, they got a, they got the mindset to be rich. I believe people have the mindset to be poor and people have the mindset to be rich. Yeah, you need to pick which one you want to be. That's why when you see people that's born rich, they have the horrible mindset and they go broke. Yeah, and that's, and that's why you see poor people become rich because they have that yeah. mindset. But the one thing about this recounting the votes of Wisconsin. Yeah, which is within 1%. So I mean, if it's the same people counting, what the hell is it going to prove? So I want to make they sure. They got to validate a majority of those ballots. I right? won't. When they can't recount these votes, all you got to do is look at those damn mail-in ballots. That's why you're going to find all, all the fraud. They need to count those. They need to recount those votes. Well, they said if it's a close election, they get to have an observer observe those, counting those ballots. They need something. I need Trump's yeah. uh, Giuliani going. He's bringing some legal people down there. <laughs> Trump, I mean, I need Trump and his family standing there looking at them while they count these votes. Yeah. And not only that, they need to start in the areas where they held the votes. Right. Until the very end. Like Philadelphia. Yeah. Like in Michigan. Arizona too, man. And then all of a sudden they pulling all this stuff out in Wisconsin. Those four key states. Yeah. I don't know what they're about to do in Georgia. I have a feeling they're going to do the same thing in Georgia and North Carolina. They're going to do it in Pennsylvania. I'm telling you, it's probably going to be a week or so before we find out who wins. Man, a presence. week or so? Man, it's going to be two months from now. <laughs> a week? You crazy as hell. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm it's telling you. Trump won this election. The media's lying, and they're trying to make – They go. this is what the media is doing. They're going to say, see, I told y'all, I told you if he lost his election, he wasn't going to, you know, do a peaceful uh, transition, transition of, power. of power. I told you he was going to do it. The reason why Trump t been tweeting these tweets and saying the things he's saying, because he knew with these mail-in ballots, he knew it was going to be a lot of fraud. He knew what the Democrats was going to do. And now the Democrats, look at him. I told you, look at him. Look yeah. at him. Man, this dude's a damn totalitarian uh, ape. <laughs> which is nonsense because yeah. we have three branches of government. Yeah. But uh, our president is not a dictator. Yeah. Our government is not set up to be that way. 
So but they're going to make it out that he is a dictator. Yeah. Because you, a lot of people out there just voting, you're naive. You're stupid. You're a big dummy. <laughs> Man, the, the, uh, 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 a five-minute conversation with a typical liberal voter. All the black people. Shut I, up! All the, I'm all the, talking! All the black people I talk to, man, talking about I voted for Biden because Trump is racist. That shit makes my blood boil when I hear these people say that. You know what make my blood boil? Me cutting you off? When well, I'm in mid-sentence. <laughs> I'm halfway through the sentence. <laughs> hey, look, I got this for you. <laughs> <laughs> I had something I wanted to say, man. It's gone, man. Damn, man. Cut you off, man. It's gone like Biden's mind is. <laughs> hey, I tell you what. If Joe Biden do become president, he is going to get impeached because he's not going to survive <laughs> an investigation with Hunter Biden. <laughs> Ain't no way in hell. I'd rather for him to be in there than Kamala. Don't impeach him. You gonna let Kamala be your president? Man, that's a damn double-edged sword right but, there. But uh, we uh now Trump won this election. Yeah, I'm, I'm not thinking even... Trump won this election. Trump won this election. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't I... no way in hell they found a hundred and fifty thousand votes in Trump zero. And there's still a lot of votes out there for Trump and for Arizona. No, he didn't win. And and Biden comes out, hey, everybody, now we need to come together as a country. Man, kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> come together as a country. Now, at this point, because supposedly you're winning and about to take this? No. no. I don't believe you, and I don't believe mainstream media. You have not won this leg. It ain't, I'm never going to think, I'm never going to grasp the idea that this country is just mentally ill and that naive and stupid. I mean, to vote for a man like you. No, this country is not that stupid. <laughs> there's a lot of stupid people in this country, but there ain't that damn many stupid people in this country. Ain't no in hell, Joe Biden. This race shouldn't even be this close. This is a no brainer. I mean, you people are voting for higher taxes. <laughs> How do you win an election? Hey, I'm going to raise your taxes. Yeah! You actually voting for, to vote away your rights. Second Amendment, you voting away your rights. People jumping up and down over abortion rights. Man, I seen in Oregon, what did they, they decriminalize cocaine and heroin? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's going to help the black community. <laughs> <laughs> I that mean, shit has decimated black neighborhoods. Decimated. <laughs> decimated. <laughs> ruined black families. I mean, ruin, Crack. it doesn't matter what your race is. That will ruin your family. It'll ruin your mindset. No, when I go to inner cities, I see a bunch of black heroin addicts. and black, I see white, too, but, man, heroin, you do not decriminalize that. I agree you shouldn't put them in the prisons with murderers and stuff. We should put them in a separate facility to help rehabilitate them. Drug but, prison. <laughs> yeah, drug prison. I, I I do agree with you that, but you decriminalize. I can see, understand you decriminalizing marijuana. Maybe even cocaine. I know doctors and lawyers that function well on cocaine. <laughs> but meth and yeah. heroin? Her heroin, is, that's crazy. You got your I, damn mind. I used to arrest shoplifters, and a lot of the heroin addicts were coming in and have all these scabs on them. Because that is literally toxic and pure poison in your body. Yeah. And it comes out through your sweat and, and, and sores. And s that's they, in Oregon, right? Decriminalize that. That's le it's, it's what? It's legal? Yeah. You just go down the street and buy you some heroin, and it's cool. Yeah, it's going to make everything better. You just walk down the street and be able to buy some heroin. That's I wonder, why, that's, that's I wonder why. if they're going to have shops like weed and shit. Nah, like you gonna... go in, hey, give me a couple of uh, crack rocks. Give me some of that cocaine right there. Nah, and uh, you know what? Let me try some of that crystal meth. <laughs> that's going to improve things in the inner, in the inner city. That sounds man. bizarre, but I could see that in a liberal area. I really <laughs> could. These people are that shit crazy. Yeah, it's liberal, man. It's just radicals, man. It's just so keep the faith. Trump has got this election. Yeah. I know everybody's down. I'm down. But, you know, you can't forget who you're watching. Even Fox is acting weird. They ain't even called Alaska. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm There's not even my, well, I, I was going to say something I shouldn't say. I yeah, don't say, say it. it. I already know what you're going to say. <laughs> I ain't going to say it. Don't say it. I know what you're going to say. <laughs> don't say it, man. Hey. <laughs> Trump 2020. Yeah. It ain't over. To that. It's a damn good show. Yeah. Go to officialharshtwins.com and pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today.
Hell, I'm even giving you 20% off. Just type in discount code Chinese virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. We making t-shirts great again. Yeah.